Hi. 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 We're Tomorrow Lab, an invention studio focused on new hardware technology. We create prototypes and then turn them into market ready, manufacturable products. With the help of our potentially genius guests and our friends at DigiKey, we turn a potentially genius idea into a prototype of a potentially genius thing. All while giving you a peek into our four phase invention process. In this episode, we're joined by the legendary maker, John Park. John's work has led him to Sony Imageworks, Walt Disney Animation Studios, and even Disney Toon Studios, where he worked on movies like Bolt, Meet the Robinsons, and Spider-Man 2. He was also the host of Make Television. Currently, he is the host of his own YouTube channel, John Parks Workshop, and works on product development and education with our friends at Adafruit Industries. In this episode, John asked us to create something using the brand new Adafruit Clue Kit. The Adafruit Clue Kit is gonna contain, at the sort of heart of it, this Adafruit Clue, which is a microcontroller platform that has tons of sensors, inputs, outputs, a screen, an acrylic case that it can go inside of, a micro servo motor, a little motor that you can control the angle of, RGB LED neopixels, and there's also gonna be a very attractive lanyard that you can wear around your neck to hook onto it. So one idea that I think would be really fun for someone getting this box of parts and the clue is to be able to build a sort of companion pet that is both a construction from cardboard and, and other materials that they might have on hand, some of the sensors on it, maybe using the uh, display as a face to show emotions of some kind. And it might be cool to also integrate the servo motor. Almost like a powered pet platform. That's it, yes, that would be amazing. A powered pet platform, I love it. Well, challenge accepted, John. We're really excited to get into this. Excellent. Looking forward to see what you do. What are we doing? We're making a, a pet, some kind of Tamagotchi? We're inviting people to kind of make this pet out of cardboard and we're gonna put the clue face in there. All right, we have a lot of different sensors. We have like proximity. Uh, when mic, light sensor, color sensor. So like the proximity sensor, when I come near, it's like, hey, there's my friend. And then like, what's feeding look like? So we're using the color sensor. Um, we are thinking about maybe we can design customer stickers as the food. So it recognizes the color and then you can use the sticker to fit the light. What about like the barometric pressure? You could possibly leverage that, uh, plus the humidity sensor to collecting through the face and telling you, oh, there's possibly a storm coming. All right, and then and then we've got a, a bunch of faces that we're gonna put together to sort of express different reactions to things. I'm really excited to see this come together. What are our next steps? We're going to uh, come up with all the inputs. We've already started to chart those out, understand what the interaction is. So it's not just like sensing, but it's like, it's meant for something. And then uh, graphic design, the faces, and then the sticker design. Well, Jason and Jingyao are gonna flush out this state machine that we've decided to make. I'll be working to design a housing that's gonna hold the clue module in addition to any other components we're using. Henry, Jingyao, and I are trying to design something called a finite state machine. This essentially constrains the system to only be in a limited number of conditional states. If you're a UX designer, it might remind you of a flow diagram. Henry developed the paper pattern for the pet. One constraint we gave ourselves was to limit the pattern to 8.5 by 11 inches, which lets people use the Adafruit cardboard shipping box as the main material, and also allows us to share at-home printable patterns. A sticker sheet included in the box has the creature's food icons, as well as other fun embellishments you can use to decorate what you make. Firmware functions link it all together, and it feels like a creature that comes alive. As a first-time CircuitPython user, I found it very easy to follow the Adafruit tutorial on setting up CircuitPython on Clue, so I found Clue to be a beginner-friendly tool to work with. We designed that a single press of a button triggers state 4, where the Clue will display closed eyes plus open happy mouth face on the LCD screen plus fast tail wagging with the servo motor. While the clue is operating in state 4, the clue still senses inputs in the background. As soon as the 3 seconds duration of a state is up, it moves on to the next state based on the generated decisions. 
All right, to get ready to present to John, we need to finish the cardboard pattern and refine the firmware functions through lots of testing. Hey, John. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, we've been working on a product uh, for the past few weeks using the Clue. We'd like to introduce you to Creature Lab. We figured out what different uh, sensors we could uh, use within the Clue and how to implement those. And then we connected those to a bunch of different behaviors. Uh, then we went so far as to start to figure out how to customize the clue and make it more into a pet shape and what materials we had around and what things we could do to accent that. Um, we went so far as to develop some stickers that will actually help you customize uh, this pet. And then on the electronics front, we took all of those inputs and outputs and developed what we're calling a pet OS. Um, and that lets people very quickly uh, put together, you know, uh, one action leads to another result and brings this thing to life. Uh, that's all documented, so people will have access to that code. They can load it on there and they can modify it as they need. Um, and then we create a bunch of faces for the clue as well. So the pet has personality um, and connection. It's terrific. Yeah, it looks great. I love the design. I, I think it's so exciting for someone to start tinkering with a new technology that they can feel their own personalization and customization on it so quickly and so easily. So I think you guys have done it. John, we always ask the question at the end of these, but uh, did we create something potentially genius here? Absolutely potentially genius. And, and uh, the kit also really potentially unlocks the potential genius of kids and new users who are gonna be able to jump in this. Great. <laughs> See, they liked it too. Yeah. Go check out John's channel as well. Um, it's gonna be listed down below. And uh, we're really excited to see what you guys create with Creature Lab.